Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to teach you how to do the 645 site swap with five balls. The prerequisites to the 645 would be a reasonably solid five ball cascade. You probably want to be able to run it for a little while at different heights. I would say this is one of the first site swaps to start learning after you begin getting the five ball cascade. So to start us off, let's just take four balls. We're going to do two site swaps with four balls. First site swap is 6-4. And as you may be able to tell, that's getting us used to the six and the four in the five ball pattern, just with four balls. So starting just with all four balls in our hands, the first throw is gonna be a nice high six. And the second throw is gonna be a four. So make sure that both heights actually represent their respective numbers. Ensure that you catch the four before you catch the six. If you're struggling with this or catching both at the same time, you can either do a lower four or a higher six or a bit of both. Now to add on, the next throw before you catch the four is the six from the other hand. And it just continues like four, six, four, six, four, six. So next four ball sight swap to learn is the five, three, four. This is gonna get us used to the five and the four next to each other. So we've done the six and the four, and now we're gonna be doing the four and the five, basically. So again, let's start with all four balls in our hand. The first throw is gonna be a nice high five. Second throw before you catch that is gonna be a three. Again, the same principle applies. Try and make the three land before the five. Then the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna throw a four up from that hand just before we catch the three. Five, three, four. Five, three, four. With all these sight swaps, you're welcome to try it from the other hand if you'd like. Or you can just try and add on one at a time like that. So five, three, four, five. Five, three, four, five, three. Five, three, four, five, three, four. Right, it has just started raining. All right, so now you have these two four ball sight swaps. You should have all you need to get straight into the five ball six, four, five. So there's two ways to start any cascade sight swap pattern. You can either do it from cold, which would just be without juggling first, or you can do it from a cascade. So in this example, it's probably better just to start with uh, going from cold. If you wanna go from cold, the first throw is gonna be a six from the hand that has three balls in. Let's try adding in the four. So six, four, six, four. Once you've had a go at the six, four, let's try one round of six, four, five, making sure you catch the four, the six, then the five. Again, if you want to try from the other hand, you're welcome to do that. But as I said, some people might find it easier just to add on one throw at a time. So when you're ready, after that five, let's get one more six in. Six, four, five, six. A four in. Six, four, five, six, four. And finally, a five in. Six, four, five, six, four, five. As I'm sure you know, from this point, it's just adding one more throw at a time. A tip for this one, for me, it kind of helps to say six, four, five, just to make sure that I'm not rushing the five or I'm not rushing the six or, or any of them really. Say it to yourself and that might help keep the rhythm. If you overthink this too much, you can end up doing like massive sixes, really low fours, and then still not being able to figure out why it's not working. Sometimes it's worth just doing a five ball cascade to figure out what your normal five height is. And then you might find the four and the six and the five obviously fits better in the pattern. Another note is with this pattern, you can do the sixes on the inside of the five or on the outside. So this is inside and this is outside. I find the outside version harder, but I think it does look better. So just keep that in mind and try both. You can also experiment with this with the four ball patterns. And actually most patterns with a six may have this as an option. If you enjoyed this tutorial, let me know in the comments. 
like the video if you liked the video, subscribe for more videos like this and other circus tutorials, circus videos. Thanks for watching, have a lovely day. Yeah.